to the entertaining Talking Sports. What is going on, football fans? Back at it with another New York Giants video. And like I do with a lot of these news videos when it's kind of a slow time and Obviously, things are going to heat up probably in about a week as we get more rumors. The draft is getting closer, and I'll definitely be live a lot for that as we cover the draft. As, as I said, I'll be live tonight doing a mock draft, so hopefully I see some of you guys for that. But not a lot of news the last couple days. I took today off, needed a breather, um, but I wanted to cover a small story that came out yesterday regarding the New York Giants with Evan Ingram, uh, written by the New York Post, Paul Schwartz. I also wanted to get in a story that ca- uh, into a story that came out this morning regarding the New York Giants and how they're handling the offseason, along with every other team in the NFL. Of course, this epidemic has changed life, not just for us, but for, you know, sports teams, football teams, and hopefully we get football back sooner than later. The good news is, what I will say is, I was watching Cuomo today, and it seems as if at least the experts think that this is starting to apex, while meaning that, you know, it's hitting its peak. Now, how long will that peak last? Well, that remains to be seen, but hopefully we start to see that go down and life gets back to normal sooner than later, and we know we're going to have football season. But we're going to have to wait and see with that. I think we will. Will it get backed up? Well, we don't know. But what I wanted to get into is what some teams are now being forced to do based on this epidemic and how they're, you know, corresponding with their players, going over the playbook, things of that nature. So let's jump into some of the stories. Let's jump into some of the quotes. We're going to start with the story on Evan Ingram that came out yesterday by Paul Schwartz of the New York Post. Of course, there were rumors. Um, and, you know, and I've been pretty outspoken about Ingram. I, I've said for the right price. I would look to trade Ingram. I'm not going to just trade him to trade him, but for the right price, I would look to trade him. Paul Schwartz basically came out and said, according to the Giants, that they have no intentions of trading Ingram, and he, and he, at least for the, the the immediate future, he is in the New York Giants' plans. Now, the thing they will have to decide, depending on if it gets backed up or not, by the beginning of May, is whether or not they want to extend both him and Peppers on their rookie deals. I made a video on this a couple weeks ago, and I am in favor of at this point in time of extending Evan Ingram on his rookie contract um, for the simple reason that I I think it's a cost-effective deal at $6 million. It's only a one-year commitment, and you hope you get the most out of him. Plus, I would think it would increase his trade value if you were indeed looking to trade him. However, according to Schwartz, let's jump into the quotes. The Giants have no intention of trading Evan Ingram and look for him to be on the team this year. That did not happen, but not because there was a lacking market for Ingram. It didn't happen because, as Paul Schwartz of the New York Post reports, there was never any actual consideration of a uh, given to dumping the tight end. And here's the quote. Evan Ingram is returning for a fourth season with the Giants. And no, the new coaching regime did not consider dumping him. There is no doubt Ingram is a polarizing player to the Giants fans. His skill set enthralling, but his inability to stay on the field is frustrating. We get it. But he comes cheaply, cheaply this year, $1.9 million in base salary, and he has loads of talent. And that, of course, is the reason that the New York Giants would look to keep him because he's cheap, because they know he has a high ceiling, but he has to stay healthy. And this is a put up or shut up year for Evan Ingram. I do think that they will uh, retain him on the rookie contract. We'll have to wait and see how that plays out because at the end of the day, with the increased market, $6 million for a tight end is not a lot of money. I think they'll see that. They'll see that this guy's an impact talent. Um, you know, a talented target for their young quarterback with Daniel Jones, and I think they'll give him another year. That doesn't mean that they won't look to trade him in the offseason or even in season this year, but at least going into the season, and uh, from the sounds of it from Schwartz, the full season, uh, you know, depending on what happens, expect Ingram to be a New York Giant and expect him to perform well, hopefully, if he could stay on the field at that tight end spot. The next thing we're going to talk about is the story that came out today about how the New York Giants and NFL teams are kind of handling the uh, offseason uh, with the meetings with their players, I thought it was rather interesting. Um, obviously, in the technological age, at least you could communicate with your players on the internet, similar to what I do on my channel. Um, but here's what was said. We'll pull up one quote from Giants Wire, then we'll pull up another quote. Monday was supposed to be a big day for Joe Judge. The 38-year-old novice, head coach, the Giants were one of five NFL teams. The Cowboys, Panthers, Browns, and Redskins are the others with new head coaches allowed to begin their voluntary offseason programs, getting a two-week head start on teams retaining their head coach. So the Giants would have been one of five total teams that because they hired a new head coach would have gotten a two-week head start on, you know, meetings and bringing players into the facility, getting to know the new offense, the coaching staff, things of that nature. That, of course, is not going to happen now because of the COVID virus. Now, whether or not they'll get that advantage after this takes place, I don't know. But uh, all the teams are going to be on the same page. Um, And as a result, there will be no gathering of anyone at the Giants team facility, not Monday and not for the foreseeable future. Now, in terms of how the Giants and the NFL teams are going to handle their meetings with the players, which started today, 
With the COVID-19 pandemic still drastically altering the world as we know it, the Giants, like all 31 other teams, have found, have been forced to adapt. And on Monday, they will begin meetings to resume and distribute their brand new playbooks electronically. When we do these Zoom live classes or installs, I don't know how it's going to work. I have never used it, said quarterback Colt McCoy. I'm hoping that there is some interaction between players. You are listening to your coach, but maybe we can have interaction with the players or you can hop on and call with some of the other guys. So you can ask, hey, how did you feel about that? Or how do you think about the, you know, the depth on that route? Is that how you were taught? So you can go through a lot of different things with them. And hopefully that's the case. And hopefully the New York Giants get some familiarity with this playbook, some familiarity with their new teammates, and maybe develop some chemistry in that aspect. Of course, it's not going to be the same thing of being out on the football field, learning the playbook together face-to-face with your head coaches. But at this point in time, it's the best that the New York Giants and NFL teams can do. And they're going to have to adapt on the fly and make the most out of it. Um, At least, you know, thankfully, we have technology, we have the internet, so at least the Giants could get started in that aspect. And this will have a lot to do with the growth of this football team. And hopefully, if the Giants could do a good job at this, maybe they get a head start on other teams. We'll have to wait and see how it plays out. It's unfortunate, but it's what the Giants are going to have to do. As always, guys, if you liked what you watched, please subscribe, drop a comment, maybe give me a little thumbs up. Cheers.